everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. Today's video, I want to talk about attachments for your first LEGO League robot missions. The attachments can either be passive or active. So today I want to just go over the difference between the two and just show you some examples of that. So if you want to see all of that, stay with me. Hino, LEGO Robotics. Oh yeah. Okay guys, so it's pretty easy. Active attachments would be attachments on your robot that actually get moved by a motor, medium motor, large motor, and passive are going to be attachments where it's not motor activated. So I want to give you a better picture of that by taking you to the Cargo Connect table and also bringing back some favorites from last year's City Shaper. So if you want to see that, let's go to the table. Okay, so sorry non-EV3 folks, but I have this turquoise picture frame from Spike Prime. There's the gray container. Hey, there is the curved panel from EV3. I got a picture frame in the back here just to help the robot push this. And then I have these large nails just on the sides that I'm going to insert right into here like that. So it just helps keep this from going to the left and right. So let's go ahead and check this out. Again, the plan is going to be to have this curved panel uh, lift the yellow bar up and that should put this gray container right into the circle. Okay, so the switch engine's flipped and the gray container is in the circle. So 20, 20, that's 40 right there. Nicely done. So what I really like about this, and I loved the curved panels. These curved panels can do so much with the first LEGO League missions. So last year in City Shaper, um, this was able to do the traffic jam. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at an active attachment that I modified to make it a little easier. It's going to be the home delivery. Okay, guys, so when you're doing missions like the home delivery, I know it's hard to drop off something with this media motor here because we can, you know, drop this down, but friction sometimes will get this thing hung up. So what I did is I just put an axle through these picture frames here with these rollers. And so what that should allow this package to do is roll off of here instead of having to hope it, you know, just drags off. So this mission here, we're just going to take this over there to the porch and hopefully get the 30 points. So let's check that out. See that just rolls off there like that. So you're hoping that with with this front part right here that that's what can help your package or whatever you might deliver in a first lego league mission to just come off come off of it a lot easier than if it's just sliding on top of plastic and plastic hopefully the roller helps you know that's how the pyramids were made right okay guys so there you have it active passive attachments no, I'm not here to endorse one as better than the other. I would just encourage you to explore both and as a team, you know, agree whether you go with one, you go with the other, you try a little bit of both. But they're really cool to explore because you're able to go, hey, you know what? Not everything that we do has to be activated by motors because a lot of times those motors can, you know, they can be off. They can malfunction, they can just be, you know, if they're the tiniest degree, rotation, or time off, they can not do the mission correctly. And that goes with everything, but it's just neat to be able to explore, to be able to say, we're going to go with active, we're going to go with passive, we're going to go with a little bit of both because we've done our exploration or our research to find out which one's the best. And that's a part of First Lego League, you know, is your discovery. We're going to discover which is the best method for our team, a little bit of both, one or the other, and the judges like to see that. They like to see that you have done your research to find out 
why have you made the decisions that you've made? So hopefully you're able to do that and just have fun with it, right? Because that's another core value. Have fun researching these attachments because it is very intriguing and very cool to find out these this information. Okay, guys, good luck with your tournaments, your qualifying, whenever your season might start. Best of luck. Hope that you're able to stay safe and be able to do these in person, I hope, but it's up to you and your you know, your tournament qualifying and the committee and whatever that might entail. So good luck to you guys. Have fun this year. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.